Yet again, the country is recipient to benevolence from its biggest aid benefactor and world's largest automaker. Two dozen ultra-fuel efficient and super environmentally friendly hybrid compact automobiles were officially handed to the Department of Energy for distribution to multiple government agencies as part of the Cleaner Emissions Cleaner Air Program of the government. PTV's Kim Feliciano tells us more. The days of black smoke belching vehicles are numbered. As the Department of Energy donates 24 Japan-made energy-efficient vehicles to 20 different national government offices to promote a healthier and cleaner air in the country. This highly efficient hybrid vehicle that will be replacing the service vehicles of national government offices has an optimized fuel engine with an electric motor that emits lesser carbon emission. Compared to the vehicle standards we use today. <laughs> With DOE Secretary Kusi on the steering wheel and His Excellency Ambassador of Japan to the Philippines, Kazuhide Ishikawa on the passenger seat, they took one of the hybrid vehicles for a spin to ensure of its efficiency. According to Kusi, from the 500 million yen grant of the Japanese government, DOE will be donating a total of 85 hybrid cars to the government offices and study a more affordable version that can be used as a public transport. I would like to thank Japan for this uh, donation because this will really help us in our transition, transition uh, to cleaner energy. The acceptance of the e-vehicle as a possible, uh, as a possible uh, means of uh, transport, not only for private use but for public transport. No? Bus drivers felt excitement upon hearing the news, while some were worried for the possible problems this transition to electric vehicles may bring. Sa konsumo naman siguro ng diesel sa electric siguro, kung ano yung mas magandang kwanti, doon ang doon tayo sa... Kaysa... Kaya yung diesel, patas na patas po eh. Mahirap ma'am kasi provincial kami, baka malubat sa daan. Hindi e wala na, wala na kaming pagchachansan. Ang layo ng biyay namin. Meanwhile, the second turnover of the other 61 electric vehicles will take place this September. For PTV News, Kim Feliciano.